What's up, fam? This is your boy, El Jefe, and you know I had to come back because a lot of people got into the comment section of the Galaxy Buds Plus video and were asking me to compare these to the Apple AirPods Pro. So that's what we're here to talk about today. Which one is the right one for you? The Galaxy Buds Plus or the Apple AirPods Pro? Now, if you're interested in picking up either of these, check out the links in the description box right down below. That way you can get the latest updated pricing. Now, before we go any further and for full disclosure, because I like transparency with my audience, I got the Samsung Galaxy Buds Plus as a gift at the Samsung Unpacked event in San Francisco. As far as the Apple AirPods Pro go, I went ahead and bought those with my own money for purposes of review and making these videos. Now, if this is your first time here, you're not familiar with the way that I do things on this channel. Whether I go out and buy the products myself or if a company sends them over to me for review, I'm always going to keep it 100% real with you and let you know whether or not it's worth your hard earned money. So with that said, if you like what you heard so far, make sure you hit that subscribe button along with that small notification bell. And this way you never miss any of my weekly videos. So let's talk about these earbuds. So first of all, let's talk about what they do the same. And that way we can kind of get that out of the way. So first up, they're both running Bluetooth 5.0 and they both operate with the AAC codec for HD audio. The only real main difference between these two as far as the way that they connect to their device of choice is the fact that the AirPods Pro have their H1 chip, but that's pretty much it. As far as charging go, they're pretty much on par with each other. The Samsung Galaxy Buds Plus use USB Type-C along with wireless charging and the Apple AirPods Pro, they use Lightning along with wireless charging in order to get the job done. So pretty even as far as that's concerned. Now, the next one is where things get a little bit different. They're similar, but there are some differences. So they both have an ambient aware mode. Now, if you're not familiar with what ambient aware is, it's also known as be aware mode or pass through audio. And that's basically a feature where you can activate the microphones on the earbuds and that way you can hear kind of what's going on around you. So it makes it good if you wanna be aware, if you're outdoors, you wanna be aware of traffic and different things. It's a very helpful feature to have on any true wireless earbud. Now, as much as I like the ambient aware mode on the AirPods Pro, I have to give the edge here to the Galaxy Buds Plus. And the reason for that is because it is an adjustable version of the ambient awareness. So they give you three levels to start off with. And within their app, you can actually add a little bit more if you want that. You can actually add a fourth level, which is pretty nice. And that gives you the ability to adjust how loud or how much strength that ambient aware sound has. I really like that. So. On the third and fourth level, it's a bit too loud for me personally. I like to keep it on the second level or what would be normally the middle, but it works very well. You can hold conversations with people. You can watch TV. You can hear cars going by. It works very well. Albeit when you turn it up louder, it does get a little more robotic sounding. Obviously it's like, it's very shouty. So I suggest keeping it lower, but the fact that you have the adjustability with it, that's why they have the edge over the AirPods Pro when it comes to the ambient aware mode. Next up, we have noise cancellation. Now, unfortunately, the Galaxy Buds Plus, for whatever reason, they didn't add active noise cancellation to their earbuds. All they have is passive noise isolation, which is basically just the effect that you get when by plugging your ears physically with the earbuds. As far as passive, it's pretty good, but it simply can't compete with the AirPods Pro and their active noise cancellation because they also give you that passive noise isolation. But when you combine it with their active noise cancellation, it's the real deal. It gets the job done. It's not the strongest noise cancellation out there for True Wireless earbuds. That title is still being held by the One More True Wireless ANC and the Sony 1000 XM3 earbuds. But it still, it gets the job done, especially for low frequency noises like bus engines, airplane engines, uh, air conditioning units, refrigerators, things of that nature. It definitely gets the job done. And that's what gives the edge for noise cancellation to the Apple AirPods Pro. Next up, we have the microphones and the call quality. But here, let me play you a microphone sample of both and we'll let you be the judge. All right, so here we have the indoor call quality test for the Galaxy Buds Plus. So as you can hear, it actually picks up my voice very clearly, especially in an indoor and quiet environment. So let's move this party outdoors, see what we get. All right, so here we have the outdoor mic call quality test for the Samsung Galaxy Buds Plus. So outdoors, some birds chirping, some kids playing outside, some light traffic, but nothing too crazy. But as always, you be the judge. You let me know what you think of the call quality down in the comment section. All right, so here we have the indoor call quality for the Apple AirPods Pro. So as you can hear, it picks up very clearly, but I am indoors. So let's move this outdoors and let's get another sample. Okay, so here we have the outdoor call quality clip for the Apple AirPods Pro. So middle of the day, got a little bit of traffic going by, some kids playing outside. Birds are chirping. It's a nice day here in California. But as always, you be the judge of the microphone quality down in the comment section. Now, 
Let's move on to the battery life. Like I said before, as far as charging, they're pretty much, you know, well even. One has USB Type-C, the other has Lightning, and then they both have wireless charging. But as far as the actual playback of the earbuds themselves, while the AirPods Pro do have great battery life, anywhere from five to six hours, whether you have the active noise cancellation turned on or off, the Samsung Galaxy Buds are giving you almost 11 hours worth of playback time. So that is a huge upgrade as far as just single ability playback time. So that's, that's a big win for them as far as the battery life is concerned. Now, let's move on to the volume and the sound quality. So first of all, the volume. As far as volume is concerned, the AirPods Pro have the edge here. They do get noticeably louder than the Galaxy Buds Plus. So as far as volume is concerned, it is definitely a win for the AirPods Pro. It's about probably a good two to three ticks louder on the volume level. So where the Galaxy Buds max out, you still have about two or three more notches of volume with the AirPods Pro. So if you're hard of hearing or if you're a person who needs more volume, you gotta keep that in mind. For me personally, they both get loud enough, but that's neither here nor there. The winner is the AirPods Pro. So as far as the sound quality goes, for me personally, I like the sound of the Galaxy Buds Plus over the Apple AirPods Pro, but let me explain, because these are both very good as far as the sound quality is concerned, they just sort of go about it a little bit differently. So the Apple AirPods Pro seem to have a more balanced type of sound to them. You still get some good bass, you still get some nice bright treble, but it seems to be a little more flat and a little more neutral and maybe a more natural type of sound. It seems like it has a bit more emphasis in the mid-range, which actually does sound pretty good. And normally I do like the way that sounds. For whatever reason, the Galaxy Buds Plus, the way that these are tuned, or even the way that you can EQ them, whether it be dynamic or the soft setting in the EQ app, to me it just sounds much more rich, much more warm, and just more lifelike and I appreciate that sound. To me it sounds a bit more immersive with the music and it makes it much more enjoyable. The bass is definitely deeper, there is more rumble, there's more sub bass than what you get out of the Apple AirPods Pro. So overall, as far as sound quality, just sheer sound quality goes, I do prefer the Galaxy Buds Plus over the Apple AirPods Pro despite the deficit in volume. So for me personally, which of these two would I choose? That's a bit difficult to say because it all depends on what I need for that day. So, you know, if I need active noise canceling, say I'm going to be taking the bus or the train or if I'm going to go on a flight somewhere, whatever it might be, then I'm obviously going to choose the one that has the active noise cancellation, which is the AirPods Pro. But if I'm not going to need that, if I'm just going to be going about doing my day to day stuff at work and things like that, then obviously the Galaxy Buds Plus are going to be the better choice, especially with the better sound quality and the improvements in the battery life. So it really comes down to your personal needs. For some people that call quality is gonna be the deciding factor because you make a lot of phone calls. I'm not living that life. I don't make a lot of phone calls during my day-to-day -day stuff. So call quality to me is just not that important, but that is a personal thing. For you, calls might be everything. But with that said, which one is gonna be the better choice for you? Let me know down in the comment section. Do you prefer one style over the other? Do you like the pen style versus the little earbud style? I'd like to know. Let me know in the comment section. And if you have any questions, concerns, or any of that stuff about either of these earbuds, make sure you leave those in the comment section. And I will get back to you as soon as possible. Now, if you like this video, go ahead and smash that like button. If you didn't like this video, go ahead and hit the dislike button. There's always one or two of you out there and I don't want you feeling left out. And if you haven't done so already, consider joining the fam. Hit that subscribe button along with that small notification bell, and this way you never miss any of my weekly videos. So with all that said, I hope I brought you some good value today. I really hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you have an awesome week, and I will see you in the next video.